basically you give me your ideas for free <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, Christine again. How's your day going? Or your week? Or your month? Or your year? Mine is going great! I would just like to say thank you for all of your support messages from my last video on my broken nail. I really appreciate all your condolences and you know, your heart is in the right place. You know, some people didn't think my broken nail was that big of a deal, but I think it's one of the most important things going on in the world right now. But I'm not gonna let my nail break slow me down. In case you forgot, this is a nail art channel. Sort of. You forgot, I forgot, we all forgot. It's fine, you know, people are losing their memories in quarantine. It's a stressful time. Today, I want to do some nail art. Not just because I feel like doing nail art, but also because I wanna take this chance, this opportunity of me having short nails to show you guys that it's just as possible to do cool nail art on short nails. Because short nails are people too. I know most people probably wouldn't consider my nail length to be that short. I do have somewhat long nail beds, I get that. But I think it's at least fair to say that my nails are an average nail length right now, which is a big difference from my usual long nails. But my nails are actually pretty narrow in real life, and it just may not seem this way because on video, you see my nails super close up. But if you were to compare my nails to the average person's, I think my nail bed is much narrower. Like for example, compared to Ben's, you can see his nail bed is super wide. He's got lots more room to play with from, you know, left to right. So basically what I'm saying is I may have longish nail beds, but my nails are quite narrow, so I don't really have that much real estate to work with. And now in terms of what nail art to do. Recently, as you may have seen on Holo Taco Socials, we've been hosting weekly nail art challenges with different themes, just making life in quarantine a little more fun with a little nail art challenge. But I've been loving going through your entries and I'm so inspired seeing all your amazing nail arts and your creativity. And it's just so cool to see everyone taking part in these challenges. It's reminded me of how incredibly talented so many nail artists are out there, you guys. So I thought for my own challenge, why don't I take a look at your nail art ideas and see if I can recreate one of them on my new short nails. So the other day I tweeted out looking for submissions. So let's see what y'all got for Simply, huh? Who's following me on Twitter? Not all of you. That I know for certain. <laughs> Ooh, Christina has one hand like this and her other hand like that. <laughs> Who votes that the new trend should be your right hand is always different nail polish than your left? I do. It's been a trend for five years in my books. Those are some pretty gradients though, Christina. <gasps> Christina with no H. <laughs> it wasn't a great gradient, probably because I wasn't using the royalty blue, but Flaky Holo Taco saved it. A Holo Taco saves everything. You did a shitty gradient? Just add a hollow taco. You watch too many Troom Troom videos and now your head hurts? Just add a hollow taco. Amy says, Hello, it's not the best I have done, but I lost the pictures of my other stuff. <laughs> Me. That's very good, Amy. Don't be so hard on yourself. What is that? Is that a cigarette? My lungs don't want to recreate that one. Hey, those are cool. Are those cow nails? Oh no, they're they're Dalmatian. Clearly, she has a Dal that's a Dalmatian dog. Oh my gosh. Wait, those dogs actually exist? I thought that was only in that movie. I heard cow nails were in recently. Maybe that's because Doja Cat has that song where she's like, Bitch, I'm a cow. Moo. I, I am not, not a cat. cat. I, I don't, don't sing out. out. Bitch, I'm a cow. Something like that. Although, I don't relate because I am a cat, so. Mine is super simple, but I like it. Reminds me that even if things are gray, that rainbows and blue skies are coming. <laughs> Aw, what a positive thinker. And you know what? Rainbows are coming. Rainbows are coming. Several weeks ago, this was my first time trying a gradient. Can't play violin with long nails, so this is as long as they get. That's like the same length as mine. Does that mean I can play violin? No, no it doesn't because I don't know how to play musical instruments and I have no musical talent. These are very nice Krista with no H. I'm in the nub club and the no H club. But like a few we've seen so far, they're a gradient, which I've done many times. So I wanna look for a nail art that I haven't necessarily done before. Because of violin, I am a permanent resident of the nub club. What, what is with you guys all being like musically talented? This is mine, hope you see it. They are Peelys. It is a pink and blue gradient with it. <laughs> It's just, it's just a picture of her peelings. 
Illuminati. Yeah, the waterfall stroke technique. I've done that many years ago, but you know what I'm mostly focused on? That wet peach tangerine sparkling vodka beverage. Mm. I may be in the nub club, but it's the longest they've been in a while. I followed your raindrop t nail technique. Hey, that's cool. I see a lot of you guys doing the raindrop nails and referring to it as my technique. Like, I'm pretty sure I did not come up with that. <laughs> but it is a really fun technique. <laughs> Wish I could enter, but news. If anyone cares, haha. -ha. Some brands stole your world's first chrome polish video footage to advertise their metallic polish. Thank you, Mitchie. Um, sadly, I know that brands often steal my content and to advertise products that, that I never use. <laughs> See this all the time. I appreciate you guys shouting them out to me. Unfortunately, there's not much I can really do other than, you know, maybe shame them. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll make a video shaming products that have used my footage without permission or without me actually using their products to sell their products. Anyways, tried my first gradient but failed at it. But my flaky hollow taco saved it. You see what I'm saying? Everyone knows the trick to saving your life. Here's some I did for my IG. I included some cats for you. <gasps> Where? <gasps> Kitty. <gasps> Kitty. I can't do nail art, but I can do normal art. <laughs> see, you can do a gradient but on a wide scale. Now that you don't have to go to work, it would be a great time to do work inappropriate nail art, like no fox given and other mildly offensive things. I don't think I've really ever done offensive nail art. Oh no, wait, that's not true. This one time I painted f across my nails. <laughs> Bit messy and not my best, but still proud. Me, every time I do something with my hair. How about a simple gradient inspired by your new glass file? That would actually be so pretty. Yo, Pia, you're so smart. But I'm looking for your nail art, not my Holo Taco products as nail art. <gasps> Elmo. Oh no, not El Elmo. What the, what the, what is wrong with me? I mean the cookie monster. <gasps> that is so good. Oh, I wanna eat it and play with it. And also visit it in outer space. I did these last week after a cries nail break back to the nub club to grow it. That's okay, girl, we in the nub club together. Sponge on unicorn skin butterfly wings with a unicorn skin gradient accent, aurora to cosmic to solar and a scattered hollow taco. That sounds like something that would come out of my mouth. <laughs> these are for the hollow taco optical illusion nail art challenge. And she peeled them. Yeah, girl. This hollow Aries chaos look is inspired by my fellow Aries, Julian Solomita and his recent whipped coffee video. <laughs> what? I see. <laughs> Very creative. Another butterfly. Wow. Oh, this one is so cute. It's like a city with fireworks on top. My first ever gradient. You guys are doing so many good gradients and this is so good. It's uh, how I spend my time in quarantine nails. Avengers nails. I've never actually seen the Avengers. Am I canceled? <laughs> Some of the press-ons I've made so far. Oh my, oh my God, there's, there's a private pot. Okay, you don't have to censor this. You're trying to get me demonetized. These ones look delicious. I would eat just, just the tip. Try some of Zoella designs. Zoella does nail art? Zoella does nail art? These are so, these are so good. I've seen these before and this girl, Aesthetic Nails, is so talented. I think she did these shortly after Holo Taco just launched to show her support and I just thought they were so creative with the, the branding and the squiggles and the rainbows. I love this aesthetic, the silhouette over a gradient sky. In fact, I think I've done ones very similar to this, but it was like a pink and an orange sunset sky. I love these. It's so like simple, but also complex because you have so many different finishes in here. But I feel like it's so predictable that I would do this. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, there's a lot of good nail art in here. There's a lot of good suggestions, a lot of good challenges, frankly. You guys have so many good ideas and so many more that I didn't even go through today because I've seen them already in the Holo Taco nail art challenge entry. So here's the thing. Clearly there's some nail arts and aesthetics that I'm definitely biased towards, like anything that's dark and hollow and gradient-y. But I'm also trying to expand my nail art horizons and do a design or a style that I haven't necessarily done before. So one of the nail arts I saw that really piqued my interest that has a little bit of both is the iridescent butterfly wings by Susie underscore cats. These look so cool and I just love the idea of using the iridescent unicorn skins to shine through like as the monarch butterfly wings. It's like special effects but also butterflies which I've never put on my nails before so. So we've picked the nail art and now it's time for me to simply 
recreate it. Simply voiceover, please. Wow, look at my short nails, wow. This Manny has been on for 13 days now, so now you know how much my nails grow in 13 days. And ooh, what's that on my other hand, which has been on for far longer than 13 days now. <laughs> the scratch nail art just has me, you know, relieving stress on the daily, so I was avoiding taking it off. And now unfortunately today I don't have any peel porn for you because I did use smoothing base for this manicure. So we will be oiling up my nails, not to peel, but to remove the nail polish the usual way with acetone. AKA nail polish remover, but the hard shit. I put oil on before I remove my nail polish so that way it helps create a barrier on top of my skin and doesn't make the acetone dry out my skin as much. And a quick little nail file, but only to even out any uneven sides, not to actually reduce any length since I have none now. <laughs> I'm using the new glass nail file from Hollow Taco. If you haven't tried a glass nail file yet, you are missing out. They last basically forever, you can clean them, and they just do a better job at filing down your nails quicker, but also better because they don't leave scraggly edges like those other types of nail files. Emery boards don't know her. Then I'm gonna wash my hands for extra protection. Or, you know, just to get rid of the dusties. I'm gonna start with some Peely base coat. One nice coat of one coat black. Because to see the unicorn skins in all their amazing iridescence, we wanna use the darkest base color possible, so that's one coat black. I got too excited and now we need a little cleanup on aisle three, please. Now before we sponge on the unicorn skins to create the magic, I don't wanna have to clean a giant mess off my fingers. So I'm applying some protective peel around my nail to protect my skin. It's liquid latex. It, it protects many things than just what you think latex protects. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> once protective peel is dry, which is quite quickly, I'm gonna apply some solar unicorn skin on an inexpensive makeup sponge. And then we're gonna dab, dab, dab to make my nails fab. Feels like it's been so long since I've said that. I mean, I feel like I've written it, but I haven't said it much, you know? Feels good. I only really needed two coats of dabbing here to make it opaque. Wow. And then I'm gonna peel off protective peel. And this looks amazing, just as is. <laughs> So based on Susie's picture, it looks to me like she used Aurora Unicorn Skin on the pointer finger, then two Solar Unicorn Skin nails, then a Cosmic Unicorn Skin pinky, followed by the thumb, which it sounds like was a combination of all three. So that's what I tried to do, although it looks like Cosmic Unicorn Skin overtook the three, as the end result leans mostly pink iridescent. And now we gonna freehand paint. Yes, this requires some talent, Christine. It's time to focus. Focus your brain. Focus it. Gonna take a very skinny, thin striping brush. And we're gonna try and be skinny legend here to paint very thin lines to make the butterfly design. I'm also using one coat black as the polish here instead of acrylic paint because I'm not doing any scratching today. I'm just trying to manifest my freehand talent if I have any left. So if you break this design down by steps, it's easier than you think. You do the semicircle in the corner of the nail first, then do a bunch of lines like it's a sun ray. And then you're gonna round out the edges of the lines to create the end of each little subsection of the butterfly rounded parts of inside of the wings. I don't know what those are called, but Google does. The wing veins and the cells inside of them. Now we're gonna take some Not Milky White, a dotting tool, and add white dots in the wing margins. I am learning about butterflies. <laughs> Although I couldn't find any consistent explanation for why monarch butterflies have white dots, so we're just gonna have to accept that it's just cause it looks pretty. Now I'm gonna add a nice thick coat, a glossy taco, to trap this beautiful butterfly into my nails. I mean, not an actual butterfly. Don't do that. Who are we, Nail Sunny on Instagram? I don't think so. And wow. Wow. It looks very nice. Come my lady, come come my lady, you my butterfly. Ah, sugar. If you sang this song as a kid, you probably don't know how to use TikTok, just like me. I think this looks so cool. Susie Katz, did I do you proud? However, my studio lighting and my semi-professional camera really don't do this manicure justice. I had to whip out my iPhone and just look at my nails under other types of lighting to really see the full effect. It's a new species. It's a unicorn skin butterfly hybrid. Well, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think?
Bam. These turned out so good that it doesn't even need a hollow taco. <laughs> you know the nail art is amazing when. And this is a really fun one to get creative with because the butterfly can have any color of wings you want it to have. You could do like traditional monarch butterfly wings or the unicorn iridescent flaky hollow butterfly wings. So I would say that this butterfly nail art design is something that any nail length can do because you can definitely adjust the wing size no matter what the length. I think there are some techniques more than others that are a bit easier to do on shorter nails lengths but then there are some nail arts that you can do no matter what nail length like this one and even if you see a design that's on someone with long nails and it looks so good I'm sure there's a way to adapt it to modify it to get it to fit your nail length you just gotta get a little creative you know no matter the length of your nail it's always possible to be creative with your nail art and honestly your Twitter submissions prove that I get that it's cool to hear people say like oh short nails can do nail art too but sometimes you just want to see proof you know so I hope this video and this simply styled tutorial gave you guys that I do have a couple older videos on my channel that I made specifically for short nail art design so you can check those out I'll put the links down below if you're interested if you're into the nail art in quarantine quarantine's doing crazy things to us I'm gonna come out of quarantine like a nail artist again I mean people may not recognize me because my face and my hair will have gone to shit but my nails will look amazing so all right everybody this was fun I hope you're staying well staying sane staying safe and not breaking your nails thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later bye, -bye.